The San Diego Union-Tribune brings us the news that according to a sweeping new report by the U.S. Federal Office of Science and Technology Policy, dead zones have increased dramatically in U.S. waters over the past 50 years, threatening ecosystems and fisheries nationwide. The multi-agency assessment says that incidents of hypoxia, a condition in which oxygen levels drop so low that fish and other animals are stressed or killed, have risen nearly 30-fold since 1960, due in part to man-made pollutants. The report calls for renewed efforts to reduce water pollutants that lead to low levels of dissolved oxygen and improve strategies to protect marine food sources. Brian Henschel, a biology professor at San Diego State University who studies bottom-dwelling organisms, said, quote, that report should trigger some alarm bells because it's pretty clear that the human impacts that create hypoxic conditions have been increasing. The new analysis, billed as the most in-depth on the topic, follows a string of other gloomy assessments about the health of the world's oceans. They are under pressure from fishing, harmful algae blooms, toxic contaminants, and other factors. Hypoxia can be caused by natural processes, but the dramatic spread of low oxygen areas was linked by scientists to nutrients such as nitrogen and phosphorus from human activities. Sources of enrichment include wastewater discharges, air pollution, and fertilizer-laced runoff from croplands in urban areas.